I'm kind of excited about the next topic. And is it a Dwayne Johnson movie? I don't. It's not. But it kind of is. <laughs> is it a Will Smith movie? <laughs> it kind of is a Dwayne Johnson movie. So they are looking to cast in the new Snake Eyes movie from the G.I. Joe series, which is that was the move. That was the cartoon. When I was younger. I searched for G.I. Joe and I watched as much as I could. Um, but they're doing a Snake Eyes movie, spinoff movie, and they are looking to cast Henry Golding as Snake Eyes. Now, for those of you who don't know, who's Henry Golding? Who's Henry Golding? Allow me to to share with you who Henry Golding is. Um, I talked about Henry Golding last year. It was last year, wasn't it? It was last well, year. Well, there's only been so many podcasts. Well, I was trying to remember if it was this year or last year. Okay. Um, last year, because uh, within the last year, rich Asians, um, Henry Golding was the main uh, character in that. The, the main, main Asian. <laughs> the main crazy rich Asian, and he was crazy rich. Um, he was in in that uh, uh, movie in uh, Crazy Rich Asians. He is actually going to be in a new movie that a new Christmas coming out trailer just um, came with, out for that yeah yeah uh lost christmas is it last, last christmas? christmas last christmas um with uh with uh, khaleesi um so he'll be in that with her and so he's been he's he's in talks to play snake eyes now snake eyes for those who may not be familiar with gi joe snake eyes is the resident ninja um for the group is he a good uh, guy ninja in, he is. He's a good he guy, is. Ninja. Uh, he doesn't talk. Um, he has usually, well, not in the movies, but in the cartoon, he had a wolf with him named Timber. Um, I'm excited for and that. He had no problem shooting people in the face as well as using his swords to fight. Um, the comics his, were quite graphic. Yes. Um, his, um, his nemesis is Storm Shadow who was a ninja for Cobra, um, who also mm. in the books, I mean, he was essentially a, more of a contractor, but close yeah, enough. but I mean, he fought for them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, um, yeah. He, uh, he's actually snake eyes, his brother and the movies. He was not a blood brother, but I believe if our, the comics, he was, um, and it so on the version, yeah, it's, that's fair. Um, so that's his nemesis. So, so snake eyes, um, is everybody's favorite, almost everybody's favorite character in GI Joe, um, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm I'm not gonna lie. So you had the first two GI Joe movies. Do we know if this is in that continuity or is this like reboot? Here's a Supposedly, brand new. Supposedly, it's in the same con continuity, at least from what I'm seeing and reading. Because that okay. was was that Ray Park? That was it Snake was Eyes? Ray Park. Okay, yeah, it was Ray Park in. in you Snake never Eyes. see his face or anything like that, though. Mm -mm. Nope. So what if it you see matter? this guy's face, well, if they're saying who the actor is and they're making a big deal about the actor, I almost feel like at some point you will. Like, do you yeah. know what I mean? Because the, the thing about Snake Ray Eyes, Park is he's like a stunt man, not an actor, and, and they, they wanted never to do want... a bunch of cool stuff they never once made a big deal about the fact that it was ray park it was just snake eyes is in it and oh by the way it's it's ray park who's playing him i don't even think it was his voice probably it was somebody else that, well there was no did voice. he talk he didn't talk snake eyes doesn't talk he doesn't talk then that makes sense right so you can put a guy who's really good at martial arts in a suit never have him talk and what bada bing bada boom just watch him beat things feel up. like they're gonna have this guy talk in this movie i so i'm not I'm I'm kind of along your lines too. I feel like again, if they're making a big deal about who they're casting for this role, I feel like there's going to be something maybe out of character from like the comics. Young with Snake it. Eyes, seeing his face, see the beginning, talking about him, uh, potentially an origin story type situation, maybe why he takes a vow of silence or doesn't talk. Um, it's in, not like a Deadpool and X-Men Origins Wolverine where he gets his mouth sewn shut or anything like that. Is no, it? it's I, I just think he's a, I just think it's like a silence thing. Like he just doesn't talk. Um, I I, it's like not that he can't talk. A reason. Yeah, that's what I, there's a there's a reason. For, I don't know if it's a vow of silence it takes something along that lines, but he can talk from everything that I remember. 
Um, he just didn't talk. Um, so the first GI Joe had, uh, had Channing Tatum and, um, uh, uh, Wayans, uh, one of the Wayans brothers, Marlon, Marlon Wayans, um, were the two main characters in that. And then you had some, uh, some decent actors in Dennis Quaid was in it. Um, uh, Rachel Nichols played Lady J, uh, in it. Um, and then you had, uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt played, uh, Cobra Commander. Oh, I remember that. Uh, uh, Christopher Eccleston, e- 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 Eccleston, I believe is how you pronounce his last name, was um, uh, Mindbender, Doctor Mindbender, and then uh, oh, I can't think of his name. Um, he was the he was the mummy, the mummy in the mummy movies. Um, played, uh, I can't think of the character's name now. But anyway, so you had some you had some decent names in that one. In the second one. You had even bigger names because you had uh, Dwayne Johnson and you had um, uh, Bruce Willis. Uh, Bruce Willis. Um, they were trying were the to like resurrect the franchise it. at this point, I think, yep. by bringing these. And then you had another one that I was a big fan of uh, the, who, played, who played Lady J in this one um, was Adrian Palacki, um, who... I remember her most from um, who was um, the other the Friday bad Night Lights. the bad lady wasn't there a bad lady oh it was um, you're talking about the first one um, in the first one it was oh Ra- uh, Rachel Nichols played Scarlet not Lady J excuse me um, Baroness was Sienna Miller Sienna Miller yeah yeah, yeah Baroness was Sienna Miller um, so they have oh and he was <laughs> Des- Destro. Dr. Mindbender was Kevin O'Connor. Uh, Destro was uh, uh, Clearly you revisit these movies often. Is that sarcasm? Yeah. I mean, I, I own them and I <laughs> watch them. I'm just saying. Don't be a jerk. Just I a just joke. forget names, man. I forget <laughs> names. Yeah, I'm not good with... I've always been that. You know that. That's always been my problem. Unless it's Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah, or yeah. Yeah, Dwayne the Johnson those. Rock. Oh, sure. Yeah. You it, the day you forget hit the rock's name is <laughs> that's not gonna happen. That's the day we end the podcast. It's, anyway. it's pretty much senility sitting in. Anyway. So the first two movies did not get great reviews. People didn't like them quite that much. They didn't do terrible though from a box office box office perspective. They weren't flops. Um they they both did fairly well from a money standpoint. Um not not great, but but not terrible. They didn't make um, any more. They didn't. You're right. But and they I are. think that's why I'm saying they they weren't terrible. But they yeah, weren't. they're going the spinoff route now. They're not doing yeah. you know more mainline franchise. The Rock has not done four more uh, GI Joes while he's done. Now he's moved five on to some other furiouses. fantastic nope, movies. Right. That's what I'm saying. They they didn't do great, but they weren't terrible. They they were middle of the road movies, and so I think that's why they ended where they did. Um, so they've got Henry Golding as a potential um, option for Snake Eyes. Um, Jason, I I feel like you probably more than Brian knew GI Joe and and watched. Well, I know G. them G. very Joe well. Growing up and and whatnot. <laughs> what are your thoughts in regards to it? Um. You know, I I think a lot has to do with how the the script and the story goes. I mean, G.I. Joe as a franchise is a uh, long-lasting brand that has a deep history in the comic world. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, it was always far more graphic and, you know, action-packed and very different storylines in the comics than you would find in the animated cartoon that I think most people are probably familiar with. Um, so I think if they kind of go about that route and and really draw from those storylines and, you know, I, it, it's tough because you have to think of what audience is being targeted. The higher up the letter grade they go, I think the more successful the movies will be. But, I you know, guarantee you to be PG-13. I would imagine it would because you're going to want as broad an appeal as you can get. Um, but even that within that vein, I think you can still get a very 
you know, good movie out of that. But, you know, they, they have to have a good script. And I think it starts with good actors. But, you know, even with good actors, you can still have a bad movie. You know, the, I mean, they had they had pretty big. The Rock has had his fair other. share of great and terrible movies. So name a terrible movie The Rock has had. What's the one with the skyscraper where he throws his leg around? Skyscraper? Skyscraper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's the one with one. the skyscraper? That yeah. wasn't a terrible skyscraper. movie. Skyscraper. Yeah, uh, you're right. It not was a, a terrible movie. Not a good movie. And we not don't want a terrible movie. We don't want a okay movie. We want a fantastic, fabulous Lion King level movie. <sighs> yeah, you're dreaming. Um I am a, speaking but of that's why I dare to dream. Speaking of actors, I guess, or good actors. So d- did you like uh, this guy in Crazy Rich Asians? Do you? Oh, yeah. He's great. Like, I, I'm i excited to see him in more things. Um, so we'll have that the other one that I you very said coming much out. liked him. Yeah. I So I wasn't a huge fan of the preview, but I'm also no, not a real it, fan. That was a preview that um, it felt like the whole movie was in the yeah. preview. But yeah. I didn't get really get a sense of the, this guy's acting in, in that either. He just felt He's... like rom-com, you know, love interest well, guy. Well, in, in, you know, Crazy Rich Asians, it's essentially a rom-com too, for the most part. Um, but I did like him in that. Um, yeah, I thought he did well. I thought he did well. He's coming out. I think the next one, he's also got a thriller or... Yes. Oh no, he was in a simple favor. That's right, he was in a simple favor. I forgot about that. He was in a simple favor. He played the husband. He played the husband in that, and that was a different a different role for him. Um, the thriller aspect versus the the rom com aspect. Um, and I liked him in that as well. I forgot he was in that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, favor. I don't have much of an opinion on this other than I feel like they can't do a whole lot worse than at least the first GI Joe. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Um, and if they're taking no. the most liked or interesting character from the series and doing something with him, um, and they're getting this guy to play him, and apparently people like him, and he's a star on the rise and and all that stuff, then um, that makes me hopeful for it. But I don't really have any attachment or anything like that to the GI Joe. I did have a, I did have one of the custom like build your own GI Joe characters that they did mm-hmm. a while back, um, but I never. I never really, like, I liked my G.I. Joe. I didn't like the previously established characters. I don't, or I don't know who they are, really, so. Um, That's a shame. I was always disappointed there was never a G.I. Joe. But that, honestly, game. like, the height of G.I. Joe was probably just, like, a little bit before your time. Yeah. You're not you're a whole just, lot younger, but, like, really it was. baby, Brian. Early 80s. <laughs> early 80s was, like, the prime time, like, 83, 84, you know, 85. That kind yeah. of general time frame was when they really. 86 like, slammed it up and you know 86 87 they still had stuff but it was more like you know trying different things and then you know they had some more stuff in the 90s but it wasn't the same i'm pretty sure i found my little guy um a couple years ago and like, they had like um stretchy r- rubber band things in the keeping all the legs on and i'm pretty sure he was mm-hmm. like all stretched out like just from, yeah that's from the age whole ring. <laughs> yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it happened I would always spin them to see how many yeah, times put a, I could you could um, you could pull them up and spin them around and then he he'd be like his yeah, torso his would body be backwards. backwards. <laughs> yeah. My brother and I strapped fireworks to a few and they had some oh, battle you, damage. Oh, you were Sid from Toy Story. Okay. Kind of. I mean only to the ones we didn't like. Snake Eyes survived. <laughs> which is surprising because it should probably be the other way around because that's kind of what goes down with him. <laughs> no. Spoilers. No. I mean it's an 80, you know. Come on. 20 something years. 